What's going on YouTube? This is Marty coming to you once again with my view of the world. You know, Candace Owens and Brandon Tatum always amaze me. Once you think that they can't go any farther downward, they do. So there was a documentary that came out this week about the Central Park Five. And Brandon Tatum and Candace Owens just had to make comments on it. Now, just keep in mind that these two people are also are so called trying to get black people to leave the Democratic Party and go into the Republican Party for whatever reason. I have no idea because the Republican Party is no better than the Democratic Party. If if you want my opinion, it's worse. But with that said, so these two people, these two individuals, call themselves making some comments about the documentary. And they was not favorable comments. They was comments pretty much leaning towards it was propaganda against Trump. Now, keep in mind that these people was exonerated, you know, through DNA. So, and we all know DNA is pretty much 100%, 99.9% accurate. So why would you say that this is propaganda? Why would you think that these people are still guilty because they was in the park that night? I don't get these two individuals. I really don't. Now, I keep saying individuals because I'm not going to call them names. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to get into the garbage pit a life with them just because they're at the bottom of the barrel and they're trying to influence white people to think that they're all about positiveness in the black community in which they're not. But what they are doing is trying to make money off white people. You have to degrade the black community. In order to make in order to make money in the white community, and that's what they're doing. Brandon Tatum was a so-called police officer, and for him to go out and say that this was propaganda is crazy. Not only that, knowing that DNA evidence has exonerated these people, but they still will not say that they they still will not say that they was wrongly convicted which I find ridiculous, you know. But Candace Owens and Brandon Tatum will get their just due very soon. Soon as, oh, soon as Trump leaves office, they will realize that they are not needed anymore on the right. And once they're not needed anymore, they'll disappear. Just like David Clark and all the rest of those Fox News black conservatives who was used during the Obama years, but now you no longer see them on Fox News because there's no need for them. And Candace Owens and Brandon Tatum are next. Soon as Trump leave office, they will disappear. But I just think it's very funny that these two individuals never can defend black people. Never. But they're always saying that they are good for black people, that the Republican Party is good for black people. But for some strange reason, those two can never defend any position in the black community. They always have to go against their narrative, the black narrative. And they always have to defend the white narrative. Something is wrong with that picture. Very wrong with that picture. 